Today you will see how to fix error ports P03010203034 which indicate that there is a misfire on a particular cylinder and the P130A4 code. In my case the problem was caused by two of the four ignition plugs. But I have also replaced the ignition module and the spark plugs as a preventive maintenance. I will show you how to diagnose exactly what the problem is whether is it spark plugs or ignition plugs. I will also include the cost of the parts, correct at the date of recording, and the tools which you will need to carry out this job yourself. So now as you know what this video is going to be about, let's jump straight into it, shall we? First thing first, let's run the diagnostic on the car to verify what the problem is. I will leave a link in the description to a video where you can see where the OBD2 port is located in the Skoda Fabia 2nd generation 1.2 TSI. So I got the fault codes of a misfire on the cylinder number 1 and 3 and also a fault code of hide cylinder. There are multiple ways to verify which part went wrong. Check if it is an ignition plug issue we can do two things. First, to swap the ignition plug from the non-misfiring cylinders to the misfiring one and run the diagnostic again. If the misfires follow the ignition plugs, I mean, if from the previously misfiring cylinder, the misfire goes from the cylinder where you swap the ignition plug to, bam, you found the root of the problem and all there is left to replace the ignition plugs with the new ones. Second, with the engine running, pull the ignition coil from the misfiring cylinder and if you don't notice any change in the behavior of the engine, voila! You found the root of the problems again but with different method now. The reasoning behind it is that if you pull the ignition coil from the already misfiring cylinder, it won't change anything, I mean RPM or idle, on the engine because it was already misfiring, probably because of that ignition plug. But if you pull a good ignition plug, you will end up more cylinders misfiring and also more rough idle. Well, another cause of the misfiring can be spark plugs. The only way to verify if the spark plugs are at fault is to swap the spark plugs from the misfiring cylinders to the non-misfiring ones not only the spark plugs, nothing else, and if the misfire moves in accordance with the spark plugs, again, you can confirm that the spark plugs are faulty. If you know any other methods, how to check for faulty spark plugs or ignition plugs, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, the misfiring can be caused by injectors, so if you are interested in a video where you can see how to test them, also let me know in the comments, I may do a video on it if there will be enough interest. So finally we identified the root of the problem, the only thing left is to fix it. I'm going to change all four spark plugs, ignition plugs and the ignition module, even though that the problem is with the ignition plugs only. You will see soon why. The cost of the parts at the making of the video were £37 for the ignition plugs, you can only buy them as a set, £12 per spark plug, you have to buy 4 of them because this is a 4 cylinder car, and £35 for the ignition module. The tools you will need are the following. T30 Torx bit, water pump pliers or needle nose pliers, however these are optional, a 13mm spark plug socket, ratchet and extensions. Now let's get the job done. Open the hood and visually check where you will be working. Remove the plastic cover of the ignition plug cables. Unplug the connector on the ignition module. Then remove the three T30 Torx bolts. Now the ignition module is free. Let's remove the ignition plugs. I'm assuming that you are replacing them as well, so you don't have to be gentle with them. Grab a water pump plier or needle nose plier, a long one, and place it around the neck of the ignition plug and pull them. If you are keeping them and replacing only the spark plugs, be a bit more gentle with them, you don't want to break them or snap the cable. Pulling on the cables is not a good idea, because probably you will snap them faster than you would have pulled them out. By the way, there is a special tool for this job 
but I didn't have it so I had to improvise. Remove all the ignition plugs with this technique. Now remove the spark plugs. You will need a 60mm spark plug socket and an extension. At this point you are halfway done with the job. The rest is just to install the new parts and put everything back together in reverse order. So replace the spark plugs, make sure you don't over tighten them. The last thing you want is to remove stripped spark plugs from the engine block. Secure the ignition coil module with the three T30 torque bolts. Install the ignition plugs on the top of the spark plugs. Here is a little guide for it. The old ones were marked in my case, but the new ones weren't. So the fourth cable is the shortest, then comes the first, the second cable is the longest and the one left is the third cable. Guide them one by one into the plastic holder. Then when it comes to connecting them to the ignition coil module, the first plug goes to the bottom left, the second goes to the top left, the third goes to the top right and the fourth goes, yes you guessed it correctly, to the bottom right. Finally, reconnect the ignition coil module. Put back the beauty covers as the last touch. Get inside the car, run the diagnostic one more time and clear the fault code memory. Fire it up, let the idle settle and check for misfires. And that's it! This was all from me today. I personally hope it helped you. If so, consider subscribing and hitting the like button to see more money saving DIYs and many more. Thanks for watching, see you in a bit.